Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art and I'm so happy to be here with you today because I have a fun project for us to work on. It is a postcard and it is for our Let's Make Art Matter program and this is something that I love participating in and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it if you haven't done this before. <clears throat> we have a recipient every month that um, we send a postcard to and in our subscription boxes uh, you get a little card about the person we're sending it to and you get a postcard that is um, stamped and addressed to the recipient and it's just our fun way of putting out good vibes in the world so this is a quick project that you can have a good time with and know that you're going to put something out in the world and it's going to be awesome and today we are going to make a card for michelle and mark who co-founded uplands peak sanctuary for farmed animals in 2014. It's open to the public. They do these fun public tours, and so people get to learn about the animals. I think they have over 40 animals, including cows, pigs, let's see, goats, chickens, turkeys. They have this whole rescue place for these awesome animals, and what they're doing is really cool. So I thought it would be fun for us to do this design. Um, it says, some things fill your heart without even trying. That's so cute. So. Really fun project we're gonna do. All right, let's see. We're gonna start with some gesso. Mmm, gesso. Oh, but you know what? I wanted to explain that even if you don't have our subscription box and you wanna participate in this, you still can. You can do it by emailing our customer happiness team at Hello Let's Make Art. I'm just gonna. Look. And they're the best. Yes, they are. They are the best. So I got my blank card here, and what are we gonna do first? Well, if you notice, there's a little bit of texture going on in this background, and I achieved that by doing a little gesso, so we'll do that first. I'm just gonna use it straight out the jar. I'm just gonna smooth it on here. I don't know how well this is gonna show up, white on white. It looks great. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Keenan. Running the cameras in the back. Yep, just in the back talking, asking weird things sometimes helping us make sure everything is in good view. And If you were to go to Sonic, what would be your favorite drink? <gasps> I love this question. I like the cherry lime vanilla Coke. Cherry lime vanilla Coke, that's mm. a lot of flavors. Mm, it's good, it's a good combo. <laughs> now before I moved to Missouri, there was a really awesome chain that sold soda mixed flavors in Utah called Sodalicious, and I love it, but Sonic is what I can get here out here in Missouri. Well, So Delicious is also a very clever name. It is, it really is. Not sponsored one day. I would love oh, to be yeah, sponsored. Oh yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> um, Hit us up. Yes. Okay, so I just, just want a little texture, right? Nothing too crazy, but just thought it would be fun. So I'm just smoothing that out. See, I just like playing in this, I can't stop. Okay, so we're gonna take a little second to let this dry. You can also hit this up with a heat gun. I mean, try not to bake it, but it will get the drying process going. So we'll wait for that to dry and be right back. Okay, so ours is dry, yours might not be. So we'll give you a second to let that happen. I, I wanna remind you that cleaning the outside of your gesso after you're done with it is good so it doesn't get stuck. Someone um, mentioned in our Facebook group that putting a little Vaseline on there will help that isn't that so smart? Oh, that's a good idea. I never idea. thought of that. So I just love when you guys share your ideas like that and help each other out. Love it. Thank you for helping me. Does that work with a yes paste too? I don't know, but I should try that. Thank you, you should for mentioning try that. that. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Keenan. Okay, so I just want you to know that sometimes when I come up with an idea, it's not the first one that I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> and that is okay. I want you to know that you can do several iterations of an idea and that is just fine. So I just thought, oh, and this is my little traveler's notebook that I've been keeping my journals in and my stuff, and it is awesome. We didn't um, let people know that this was available on our yeah, website. Yeah, we didn't talk about that much. So we have the black one, and it has these little bands here, so you can put our smaller size journal in there that we're working with this month and our larger one from April, my April one is in here. And then it also comes with a little notebook for notes that has like thinner paper when, when you purchase that. So it's fun. And I like keeping all my stuff in it, keeping it organized. So move that out the way. 
and I'm going to show you that I did a couple of versions of this that I didn't love. <laughs> then I tried doing straight track. Will you um, bring those a little farther to the right? There oh, you go. sure. Stra Perfect. I tried yeah. doing some straight lettering, but I wanted it to be a little more swishy. Mm. I tried some textures and some color combos I didn't love. And then I kind of landed on this one. And then I thought, we need a heart in there somewhere. And so then we landed on that. So Wait, show that dirty one again. I like, that one's my favorite <laughs> one. This one? Yes. I thought it's I wanted so the cool. black, the gray to be in there, but then it kind of got muddy. So I was like, yeah, I don't know. But the texture on the paw turned out. And this texture uh, is the same technique that we do on the strong bear when we scrape in the strong. So the scrape and reveal technique, you could try that on this. It was a little nice. tricky though. And I thought this looked nice and clean. So we're gonna do that. But sometimes it might take a few tries and that's okay. And I think sometimes when I'm making something for someone else, I start feeling apprehensive and um, worried that it's not gonna turn out or I'm not sure how it's gonna go. And I would just like to challenge you to think about it in a different way. Like, let's just be curious. Let's see where this leads. Let's think about it that way. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Okay, well, this is dry. And so I did this lettering a few times before I landed on this. And one of the things that I learned from Nicole as I've been practicing my lettering is when I write it down a few times, some parts I might like, some other parts I might not like. I'm erasing, I'm doing it again. Never do I write something out the first time and it's exactly how I want it. I mean, that hardly ever happens. So what I did was I drew it out a couple of times, erased what I didn't like, changed it a few times, and then I got this result. And she taught me that then you can take this and use your light board and trace it. So that's cool. So we're gonna do that in a minute. Nice. But first, we're gonna put blush paint on here. That's right, it's blush. Blush. And I'm gonna water it down a little bit. I'm just gonna use my number um, eight brush. Just a little bit of water. Because I think that that makes these textures kind of pop more, even more water. And whenever you hit the watercolor paper, like the edge of it, where the edge of the gesso meets the watercolor paper, you get that transition of texture. Does that make sense? I was really having a hard time with those words, Keenan. I understand. Words are hard sometimes. <laughs> Speaking of difficult things, mm -hmm. will you mind your head a little? Yes. Thank Posture. You. Thank you. you. did so well. That wasn't hard. I, I am really grateful for those reminders. Ooh, look at that texture. Just that little bit. The gesso's so fun. Yeah. And you can almost kind of do like a little dry brush kind of yeah. thing too if you want. I call that the draggy technique. Oh, the draggy technique. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so. You can try that. This is a little scratchier than my original, but I like it. So each time you can just be curious about where this is going. No need to stress, no need to be precious. We're just having a good time, making something for our friends, Michelle and Mark, putting the good vibes out there, right? Good vibes are sometimes all you need in life. That's so true, truth. That can truth. change your whole attitude if someone comes around you with a good vibe. Yeah. Change your whole day. I know, like when I got my drink this morning. <laughs> yes. When they and give you that drink with a smile on their face, you're just like, oh. It's the best. I know my friend, Bethany at Sonic, like I know her and she knows what I like to order. She knows my voice. I mean, does that <laughs> tell how many times I go get a soda there? I don't know, but is I like when people know me. <laughs> okay, this is looking. That's so funny. This, this acrylic paint dries a little faster, so I think we're okay to move on to the next step. Maybe, maybe the little second to dry. <clears throat> So I'm gonna put this over here. Get this light board out. Now, Keenan has done a lot of lettering videos with Nicole and he can tell you all the alternatives to a lettering um, a light, light box. Oh, I can. Um, there are some people that have found success using a window that has the sunlight outside. 
because the oh, like just a kitchen window. Yeah, kitchen window, living room window, car window, maybe a sunroof. Who knows? If you want to write upside down, I don't know what you're trying to do. It's crazy. <laughs> but also, you could use. I was joking one time, but we've actually suggested it several times at this point. Um, a headlamp, because I always have a headlamp in my truck. <laughs> but you could use a headlamp underneath a cake pan. That's a glass cake oh, pan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or, or your phone. Your cell phone is the most common thing that people always have with them that has a flashlight attached. True story. So. I like it. Thank you. I've actually been thinking a lot lately of getting a strip of LED lights. Oh. And then putting that inside something clear and square and making an like an automatic my own light pack. What if your desk was glass instead of wood like ours and you just put lights under Wouldn't it and you just turn it on when you thing? wanted to do something and then you turn could it off? section it off and have different <gasps> colors per section. I think you might have a new product <laughs> here welcome. you can make. Light up desk. All right, this is a little sticky, but I think we're going to be all right. The hardest part about this is going to be for me to get, keep my head out of the way. But do I have it on the brightest setting? I did. Two, three. One. This light box has three touches to get it there. Three right. settings. Three. Well, I gotta touch it three times. Yes. <laughs> it's three touches. Three settings. It's fine. <laughs> that works. Okay. Watch your head. I can't see. Oh wait, you're I'm lining to... up. You're good. Don't even worry about your head, Jesse. Don't even worry about okay, it. Okay. So where? I want to be able to trace what I'm doing here, and it's a little bit hard to see. So I'm gonna. All right. Now I can see it. Fine. How's my head? Am I okay? It is out of the way on the top cam, 100% in the way on the side cam, but don't worry about it. Okay, we're, I'm going to trace just, this. We're and just then tracing. I'll okay. It's not a big deal. You're good. So I'm still okay? Well, well, you were. Now you need to go back to the left a little bit. There you go. This is my favorite game. No, if you use the gesso super thick, it might make it harder for you to see through your paper, Ooh, just so you know. That's a good note. I can see it, though. And you don't have to rely so heavy on the tracing. I mean, for me, I've done this a few times, as you saw, so now it's kind of... Other methods from Nicole for tracing and or getting something on your paper would be a thumbnail sketch and you just make it in a smaller or on a different piece of paper. Yeah. And not nece necessarily trace over it, but you could, I don't know how to describe it. I'm terrible at this. Thumbnail sketch. Just look up thumbnail sketches. Okay, so if they were to go look at her videos and they and they does she have one that says thumbnail sketch? Not specifically, but there are. I would have to look up what projects they were. All right. Sorry, I'm being really quiet now. You're good. I'm trying to work around this beautiful texture that I made. Yeah, this is focus time. <laughs> I don't know why, but lifting it up gives me more confidence. I can see it just fine, oh. but really see it when I lift it up. Now, you want to be careful when you lift it up because you don't want it to move, but I'm being careful. I got this. Some things fill your, I have to say the words or I get scared I'm going to miss a letter. Heart. Oh, I like how that... R turned out because I kind of struggle with R's. I'm still practicing those. But here's the thing. Wherever you are in your lettering journal, journey, <laughs> I'm an R journal teacher, I just said journal. <laughs> um, <laughs> making something that with your hands and giving it to somebody else makes it special. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, that's true about art and everything that we do, but especially feel like I need to say that about lettering because it's hard for me not to compare myself to um, 
others, especially Nicole, because she's so talented. But I have to remind myself, she's had a lot of practice and I just need to keep practicing. And I'm happy where I am. It's a perfect attitude to have because she has had a lot of practice. I mean, she's got two books on how to handle letters, so. Which is pretty amazing. What an accomplishment. Okay. Yay, okay, I've got the pencil in. I'm just gonna move this where I can see it good. And just pressing it down more helps too. I could have probably taped this down Nicole like taping her stuff down when she does this? Yeah, she tapes it down sometimes. Sometimes she doesn't. Just depends on how she's feeling. Because she likes to show that you don't necessarily need tape, that it's possible. It's just a little more difficult. Okay, so I'm going to do my heart right like this. And you might, it might take you a couple times to sketch that out to get it how you like it this little loop with the heart, but it's so cute. And it's just so perfect for this quilt. Oh, I missed a little toe on my paw print. All right, I think that's looking pretty awesome. Okay, I'll move this out of the way now. Let my eyes adjust. Let your eyes adjust if you were also doing that. And we're gonna use our Posca pin to Add the black. And if you want to just test your pin, make sure it's working okay on the side. It's good. I'm going to turn this a little bit. I'll try to keep my head out of the way. I'm going to go over it one time and then I'll go back and do the thicker areas. So uh, this is something Nicole has taught me how to do when you're going to your, it's thick on the down, thin on the up. And so I'll write it and then I'll think thin thick and then that's where I'll thicken it up. So we're doing folligraphy. Folligraphy. Folligraphy? Folligraphy? Folligraphy. <laughs> okay. Did we say who Nicole was? Oh my gosh. She's she's our I'm just assuming things. Yeah, I know. She's she's our lettering artist. She has a currently she has a lettering box that we'll be switching to actually a cool kids box in July. Heck yeah. She's so talented. And I feel like learning lettering just adds to your art journal and practice. Especially if you like doing quotes and stuff. That's true. I just love this quote, it's so cute. And this Posca pen will write on anything, it's so great. Whereas like another pen might be skipping with all this texture we got going on. Mm -hmm. No problem for the Posca pen. Do you wanna bring your head back? Perfect, thank you. Gonna let that dry before I go back and do the thin and the thick and I'll move on to this little paw print. Now remember, you don't have to make it like how we're making it. You can do whatever you want. There are no rules with our Let's Make Art Matter postcard in that way. And you and I did mention that they have all kinds of different animals, so you could even do... Chickens. Yeah. A chicken foot. A chicken foot. I like that. I'm trying to visualize what a chicken foot looks like. I'm like thinking about the print and the dirt. It's got the three fingers, mm -hmm. talons. Keenan's holding his hands up. I, I wish you could see. And then it's got the one on the back. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do the thick and the thin on this real quick. I've taken care of some chickens in my day. Have you? Yeah. Did you go feed somebody else's chickens or did you have your own chickens? fed someone else's chickens. Are they excited to see you? Uh, 
I mean, they didn't really care about me. They just really excited about the food. Mm. I can relate to that. I can relate to that. I mean, not being excited about you and sure, food, sure, sure. but just in general being no, excited about you. food. I'm excited about food. That's what I was saying. Okay, so I just want to make sure that this is right. A trick you can do if you're worried about it is just laying something over it so that... Uh, the old guard. Yeah. I'm just adding a little bit of thick there, so that would be a thick spot. Do you want to push that card farther to your right? Like that? Yep, and then bring your head back. Perfect. So if this was up, then the thick would be right there. <laughs> and that part is thick. Then this would be up, and then right about there would be thicker again. I have to say it, or I oh, get yeah. confused. Thin on the up, thick on the down. It's like the mantra. <laughs> Let's give you a little thicker right there. It's a little tricky on these textures, but don't worry about it. We're just having a good time. I need to tell myself that as much as I need to tell you. <laughs> but the textures are worth it. Worth it. All right. Oh, I got really thick on that one, so I'm going to bring this guy back around. Yeah, liking it. Nice. Yep. Good call. Keenan is the best art cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. He likes to be called Hype Man, whatever. Hype Man. Wasn't it you that said like you work too hard on one letter and you get it all looking nice and then you go and do all of them like that and it gets crazy? Yep. That's okay too. Yep, I do that a lot actually. I think I like the thickness and I'm gonna leave that one alone. Alright. Let's get a thickness one up. Any other spots I need a little help? Did I miss anything? Not that I would change. Oh, I, I don't have like... a dot on my eye there. Oh. Some things fill your heart without even trying. Okay. Now, next step is we're just going to add a little gesso. And last time I did this, I put my hand right where it was wet, and I was like, oh, man. But then I realized that I have gesso, and I can cover stuff up. So... If that is you and that happens to you, don't you worry. We got Jesso. Jesso fixes everything. But now I'm just going to use it as a way to embellish. And you can see on this one, I just added a little white to the paw to give it a little pop. And I kind of went over the black just a little bit. Which I think is kind of fun. So I'm about to put it in the bush. It's like me trying to drink my paint water. Delicious. <laughs> Have you drank paint water, paint water before? N no, not at all. No, I haven't tried it. I'm not afraid to try it. <laughs> you're not afraid? I don't think it's toxic. Well, it depends on, I guess, what paints you're using. Yeah, depends on the paints and your bravery. My cat is very brave then. Speaking of small things that fill your heart without even trying, she likes to drink my paint water all the time. Her name is Pixel, she's an orange cat. 
And I don't know if you know this or not, but only like, I think I might have the stat wrong actually, but it's like 12% of orange cats are female. What? Yeah. How'd they even discover that statistic? Um, I don't know. But I just remember someone assuming that my cat was male and I was like, no, she's a girl. And they're like, no, nah, I don't doubt it. She's orange. I'm like, she's a girl. And they're like, oh yeah, she is a girl. But it's not often that happens. Interesting. Okay, so I'm liking that. I yeah, know we can just good. add some little dots. Get my brush wet so I can get... So if your brush is getting a little uh, separating or whatever, then you can get it more wet and then get some more gesso and keep the tip of your brush to a point. That makes sense. Mm, that does pro tip. Pro tip on your brush tip. You know, I just like adding dots all the time, so. Yeah, dots are nice. I just think it's fun to like kind of make the edges sort of gradiate, soften them. Yeah. Feeling good, feeling good about that. I think we did it. Just a fun, quick project to put some good vibes out there. Now I wanna tell you a little bit more about our friends at the Peaks Sanctuary really quickly while I'm brushing, get cleaning my brush, trying to clean as I go, you know? You really wanna get that gesso out of your brush because it will damage your brush if you don't get it all the way clean. Okay, that's looking better. And yeah, just remember to keep your gesso jar nice and clean so you can use it again so it doesn't get stuck. All right, <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> I just wanted to include that um, people who do animal rescue like this, um, like Michelle and Mark, um, it's a 24 seven job. I mean, they're, they've got to get there to feed the chickens, you yep. know, and all of the things and taking care of them. Especially farm animals. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It is, and they have quite a lot of them there. And um, sometimes that can cause burnout, you know? So this is, this is a way we can cheer them on and the good things that they're doing. And they love um, art and color. And so um, I know that they're just gonna be so excited to receive these postcards from you. And <clears throat> like I said, you can do whatever you want on here. You can do this like we've done it, or you can paint another animal that you like, or maybe there are animals that they're taking care of there. It is up to you. And if you'd like to share this um, with us on our Facebook group, we have a Facebook group that's Let's Make Art Journals that you can um, check out. Um, make sure if you haven't joined that you answer all the questions, because I know that keeps you from being able to get in the group if you don't answer the questions. And um, it's a really fun, supportive group, lots of inspiration there of everybody making things, using the same supplies in different ways. And you can also hashtag us on Instagram. Thanks so much for being here and making this with us and we'll see you next time.